Um, as he said, my name is Namin. I'm one of the official tour guides in the pledge for the land of roots. So you are all highly welcome to the land of roots. Um, this is your own place. It's where your ancestors come from. So it's very important to come and see this place as far as this is the place where your ancestors come from. So this tour is very important. Today you're going to know how your ancestors were used to be captured here by the Europeans and how they were transporting them and how they used to tra and transport them to the island. And you'll be hearing the history also, how many people were used to be captured, how many of them were used to be on the island. So this tour is very important also because this, um, we're going to see a lot of monument and a lot of important things today. So these things are all very interesting, very important for us to know because it's very important for us to know our history. So the place where you are, are where we, we anchored is called Albreda. So Al, the second, that's, Albreda is the first village. The second village is called Jufure. That's where Kunta Kinte was born. Oh, wow. So later on, when we come from the island, we are going to visit the museum and also the family of Kunta Kinte. So you are all highly welcome once again, okay? Thank yes, you. my brother, appreciate yeah. it, appreciate it. So now uh, I've heard that the uh, James Island, formerly known James Island, is called Kunta Kinte Island. Yeah, is that an official from the Gambian government? Yeah, um, Kunta Kinte, the name of Kunta Kinte is being, being changed by the brother of Michael Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, with the former president, that was the room, um, root home, um, root coming home festival. So that was in 1994. So that was the year, um, that was in 1994. So that was the year, the name was changed by the brother of Michael Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, and the former president, Jermaine. So these are the people who came the name of the island. So now it's official now. Also has also accepted. Yeah. Yeah. That is excellent. So James Allen, it looked like it used to, it looked like I literally thought it was a lot bigger. Yeah, it was six times bigger as wow. how it is located today. But now it's been washing away by the river. Yeah, suffering from the sea erosion. So that is why according to the history they said 0 0.8 hectares are all taken by the river now. Yeah, the government, government is saying that they are coming to preserve it very soon. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, but still, we don't see them. They did, and the island is still going. Yeah, still going. Yeah, it looks like it easily sink into the ocean. And family, this is the island view. You see a small island. Let me just give you a zoom on it. Six times bigger. Really? Yeah. Six times bigger. What happened to it? Yeah, it's suffering from the sea, the river erosion. Yeah. And that's why preservation and maintenance is so important. Yeah. to see there. We have um, the slave prisons, the ruins are still there. The, the grave of the famous Portuguese explorer Andrew is also there. And the 24 pounder cannons that were and the ones that they are those are the ones they were using for their defensives. And also they have their administrative offices and also their apartment with assistant the gunpowder machine ground prison, the Brandon Iron Center, and also they have the, the all London flights.
stronger and give you all of the important energy why we're here and what we're doing what we need to do. And the ultimate thing you're looking to get from this is black power corporate economics. I was putting our money, resources, and energy together to build a future sustainable for our children and to make this world a better place. Because if we just leave everything into the hands of the oppressors and suck and dig and take everything from Africa to the continent with this fall into the ocean. of the island or is it just yeah, people yeah. don't live there? Yeah, yeah, because um, you first started from that tree. You can see it. Wow. You can see even there is a building which is built by Alex Helio. So that is where Punta Quinte was captured when he went to find firewood. So he was captured over there. That's why Alex Helio built a, a house there. So they want to establish there. They not want to build a lodge there or a, like a hotel. So, and also you have San Domingo around this area, which is the Portuguese trading site in the area. Slaves that were captured in this part, they keep them there every fortnight. They have to take them from San Domingo. That's the top three you are seeing over there inside the water. Top one. Yeah? Oh, top one, right? So from there, they will come every fortnight, they have to take them to the island. Every three weeks, they will come and collect them from the island. They start to transport them to America, you know? Part of Europe. So, yeah. so there you go family and once we get closer to the land family we're going to give you the direct presentation. Yeah. But what we're doing right now family is starting our journey as far as the reconnection from our James Island then we'll go back to our Breda and Jufri. Approaching Kunta Kente Island. Straight ahead of us. Oh, family, turn around, not straight ahead of us. But straight ahead this way. Now we have a nice shot from the very top. Now, whoa! My little boy is uh, he's, he's excited, having a good time. I know. But, uh, what we're gonna be teaching him at his young age is about his roots and culture, right. things that unfortunately we didn't yeah, learn when we were younger in school because okay, no. the education system is not designed that way. Which you know, Let me tell you it's what it is. You know? I don't expect our oppressors to educate us about what we need to do to empower and free ourselves. So we're taking our own responsibility to do these things. Yeah? And that's why you see us in so much partnership with, uh, with our brothers uh, from Senegal and the Gambia that's uh, on tour with us. 
And so once we first get to the island, we're going to do an in-depth tour. I've been waiting for so long, since 2006, to get here to do this because when we last came here, we just never made it here. And that's why I do these organized tours. So we have an organized set schedule and have organized our staff members and everything that's set to where all we need to do is get up in the morning and the bus take us to our schedule. So the bus dropped us off at Denton Bridge on this boat. And then since then we've been sailing for about a good hour plus. Mr. Bomani Dakari, I need I need I need I need our brother our brother tour guide son. <laughs> <laughs> How long has we been on the drive? Uh, we almost for our one of our 45 minutes drive now. We are what, now. We, we've been sailing that long? Yeah, we have been sailing a lot because we are against the tide. Yeah, because the current is, we are having low tide and we are against the low tide. So the river is taking some five knots from our speed. So we take it with good faith, but maybe when we are going back, we are going with the tide. So it'll be all right. It'll be less than one hour, 45 minutes. Okay, so, yeah, and that's, that's typical an hour and a half to two hours? Yes, typical. From um, uh, Denton Bridge? Uh, to Denton Bridge, to St. James Island. Right. Okay, now we're approaching the island. Oh my God. And family, what we also have is this wonderful Senegal and Gambia tour book. And uh, it illustrates all the things that you'd experience uh, when you come on tour with us. Um, and those books are free and it's just based on requests. Just send in an email or send a WhatsApp message and we send you the, the previous tour book and then once we make new ones and we have a new group, we just, you know, we keep these shared. But we're, you know, we believe in digital materials because digital files and those things are much easier to share and you can just get it out. Um, you know, it's kind of like having videos online. It's, you just have to find modern day ways to share and connect information. So yes, family, the journey continues.